What up guys? In this video, we're going to take it back and start from the basics, starting with MetaMask, how to set up multiple wallet addresses within MetaMask and how to access those wallet addresses from within the Drip network. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on this and get it started. All right, what's going on, people? Right now, I'm going to start a series of tutorials on how to use Team Drip. And essentially, in doing this, I'm going to have to go back to the basics and uh, show the basic configurations and principles of using the Drip network itself, uh, because I am getting quite a bit of feedback. Uh, from the community and they have questions about MetaMask, they have questions about setting up multiple wallets, they have questions about the BR34P tokens. So many of you guys may already be familiar with this, uh, but there seems to be quite a large percentage of the community that are not so aware. So I'm, in starting these tutorials, I'm going to start back with the basics. Now, at this point, I do believe that everybody is familiar with MetaMask, that particular wallet, and you guys know how to go out and install it. So that's a, I'm assuming that that's a given. If that's not the case, just do a YouTube video on how to install it, and uh, you can go from there. Starting in this video, what I'm going to address is how to set up multiple wallet addresses in MetaMask and how to utilize each one of these addresses within the Drip network, okay? So those are the two main goals I wanna do. So when you guys check this out, keep that in mind. There are a little few additional things I'm gonna add in just for your reference. Um, because what I, do, I do want you guys to get familiar with this so you know what you're doing and not messing anything up or losing your money or anything, okay? So I'm going to start this with creating, I've already created a new MetaMask wallet, and I will probably use this throughout all of the tutorials that I do on Team Drip. But since it starts with MetaMask, let's jump in with MetaMask. All right, so... I just installed this MetaMask plugin in my browser. And just FYI for you guys that don't know what the reason you see this icon here is because I pinned it to my browser. Okay. You can just as easily unpin it. So if I remove that pin, you see it goes away. But in order to access my MetaMask very quickly, once you install it, what you should do is go to your plugins and go ahead, click on that pin button. Okay. So this way you will always have quick access to a drop down menu of your MetaMask plugin. Okay. So when I click on it now, I don't have to click on this. I can just click on my MetaMask icon here and it will show me all of my accounts. Okay. Now, considering I just set this up, uh, let's see, did I, okay, I already went through the process of adding a BSC because by default, it's just the Ethereum network. I'm sure you guys are aware. If you want to add BSC, just click on this link here. Go down to add network and it'll give you a list of networks. You can choose which one you want. And I chose BSC scan and since it's already added, it's not showing, but that's how you would add it. Just click on the add button or the add link of whichever one you want to add. Okay. So let me open my plugin back up. Now I want you guys to notice since I just created this account, this wallet, I only have a single account, but when you start joining team drip, you probably want to start self-referring and have multiple accounts, okay? 
So I've had questions on how do you use multiple accounts through MetaMask? And this is how you do it. Okay. So we start with one account. If I click on this, it's only going to show the one account that I have, which was made by default. Now, what I want to do is create another wallet address. So I already have the 95B1. Okay. What I want to do now is create another one. So I'm simply going to come down to add account. And you can name it whatever you want to. I'll leave it as account two. It looks like it's required it or it's going to require me to put it in. So I'll just put in account two if that's accepted. Okay. All right. So I now have two accounts. So if I click on this link, I now have account one and account two. If I wanted to create an account three, I would do the same thing. I would click on add account, add it, and then all three accounts would show and so on and so forth. Okay. So that's how we create additional wallets within your MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to go back to this one here. I'm going to select it, 95B1. Now, because I've selected this, this is going to be a default. So when I go to other apps, dApps or whatever the case is, and try to connect my wallet, because I've selected this, this is going to be the default wallet that that dApp connects to. All right. So let's go to the Drip Network. Okay. And we're going to connect my wallet. When I connect my wallet, again, notice the default is going to be, see how that's checked right there? It's going to be that account one. Now, of course, I could select both of them and it would choose which one to default to. But for the sake of simplicity, let's select one at a time. Okay. And we'll select the 95B1. I'll go to next and confirm that connection. Now, notice at this point, I am, this wallet is connected to 95B1. I'll go to the faucet and everything that people do, but it's still connected to the same wallet. Now, what if I want to go to another wallet? Okay, I'm connected to 95B1. How do I get to my second wallet? Now, if I disconnect this, right, I can disconnect from here using the app. But if I try to connect again, it's still going to take me to the same default wallet, the 95B1, because it's already been connected to that. And I didn't present the app with additional wallets that it can connect to. So what you have to do in this sense, in one thing you can do is, first and foremost, disconnect the 95B1 wallet or whatever wallet you want to disconnect from. Don't do it from the DAP. Go ahead and access your plugin, your MetaMask plugin. And on this icon here, it's showing you which account is connected. Click on that link. And once I click on it, it's going to show me, hey, these are the accounts that you have active. And I'm going to click on this menu and I'm going to say disconnect this account. So once I disconnect it from here, it's automatically going to disconnect it from the DAP. All right. Now what I want to do is go in and connect the other, my account to wallet instead. So I could just click here and select from the two, or I can bring down my drop down MetaMask again. And instead of it being at account one, I can select account two. Now, remember, by selecting account two, this one is now selected. So any dApps that I try to connect is going to connect to this wallet by default. OK, so when I connect. I'll use MetaMask 
And notice now it's already selected account two. I proceed to the next and connect and voila. We are connected to the 47DA wallet. Okay, that's one way to do it. Now what I'm gonna do is disconnect that wallet. So remember to do so, I'm gonna go to my MetaMask dropdown. I'm gonna click on this link here. When I click on it, it shows all of the accounts that are connected. So I wanna disconnect my account too. Click on disconnect this account. You'll notice that I am now no longer connected. Now, let's say at this point, I have not by default selected any accounts. Let's say I go in, connect wallet. I want to select my MetaMask. Now, the first way I just presented is more so for simplicity, but when you become more familiar with it, you can actually connect and switch between multiple wallets. So this is the second part I want to show you guys. All right, so when you select MetaMask, I'm going to select both wallets, both account one and account two, or however many you want that you have created. So in selecting both of these, I'm going to connect. And notice that it connected to the 47DA. Okay, I could come in and disconnect that, but if I disconnect it and bring it back in, it will probably go back to that by default. There we go. 47DA. But now let's say I want to go back to my account one. All right. I can do that easily by again going to my MetaMask drop down, selecting this option here. Okay. And now I can simply switch to my account one just by clicking this. I don't have to necessarily disconnect using these options here. I can just switch. So if I switch to this and click on that, okay, this is the now the account that's active, my account one ending in 95B1. And there it is there. And just for the sake of making sure everything is displayed properly on your Drip UI, you may just want to refresh it to make sure all your numbers are accurate and in line with the 95B1 wallet and you're done. Okay. That's all it is to it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Hopefully this is detailed enough to give you guys an idea of what to do. And remember at any given point in time, if you want to disconnect, you don't necessarily have to do it from the app. If you do it from your MetaMask drop, in, drop down menu, it can disconnect everything. I can disconnect that one and I can disconnect this one and I'm done. And there's one other thing I forgot to mention as I was preparing this video and that is setting up all of the tokens that you are going to need in your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so let's go to MetaMask real quick. Open it up by clicking the icon. We are in my account one. And you're going to have to do this for each account. You have to import your tokens. So by default, it's going to show you your BNB balance. That's the only token it's going to create by default. Well, we're in the drip network. So we want to keep an eye on the amount of drip that is in our wallet. And we also want to keep an eye on the amount of BR34P tokens that we have in our wallet. Okay. So I have a quick file that I have the contract addresses for these wallets. You got BNB, um, Drip, Breit, uh, USD, uh, and all these. So for this particular wallet, since I'm just dealing with Drip, I'm going to use my Drip. So I'm going to copy this address, and I'll leave this information in the description for you guys. Uh, just for quick reference, and you can create your own file. I come here, I click on import tokens. So from this one here, I just did a copy, right? Come in here and I'm paste it. It picks up that it is drip. I'm going to add custom token. 
have a zero balance, but I'm going to confirm by importing those tokens. And when I come back, I'll see that I'm now, I now see my BNB and drip. But I also want my BR34P tokens. So I'm going to import tokens again, go to my file, pull in the contract address for the BR34P tokens. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here in my contract address. There it is. I'm going to add it, import it, and I'm done. Okay. You can do also do this for BUSD or any other token that you want to import so you'll have clear visibility of where this is. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll hit you up on the next one. Peace out.